Hey guys, you voted, I heard. So today I'm bringing you some harsh truth about the progression of multiple sclerosis. This is actually a very relevant topic to me right now because I'm not doing well today. If I'm not looking great, it's because I'm actually not feeling great. And these past weeks, I have also not been doing great. So today I want to walk you through what are the truths that you don't want to hear and you're not going to be told by the medical team regarding multiple sclerosis and its progression over time. However, I do believe that it's very important for us all living with multiple sclerosis to understand what progression is about so that we can be prepared to adapt and to accept and to carry on regardless of what it may bring. What I'm going to talk about in this video involves the harsh truth of multiple sclerosis and this is very important for you to know if you have just been diagnosed. Now I want to invite you guys to check out my website where I have several options for you to get in touch with me and you can also book yourself in to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me where you can walk me through your concerns, your worries, your anguishes after having received the diagnosis. I will be more and excited and pleased to talk you through all of these emotions that may be stirring up in your head. So let's start with the numbers. What is progression? Starting with the fact that about 85% of new MS diagnoses are of relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. That is the kind that relapses and then recovers and then relapses and so on. It is said that out of this 85%, about half of the patients will then transition to what is called secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, which is a kind where it just progresses, it no longer relapses, it no longer recovers, but it just continues to progress and as such to worsen. Then there is another 10% that is diagnosed with the type that is known as primary progressive multiple sclerosis. This is one that from the very beginning starts with a rapid progression of the disability and of the symptoms. So progression is something that is caused by ongoing nerve damage in the brain and in the spinal cord. At first, the body is able to repair some of the damage and to recover from it. But as time goes on, the body becomes less able to recover and repair the damage. And that is when progression happens. So to bring you some good news, what treatments nowadays can do, we have the DMTs, disease modifying treatments or therapies that can slow down the progression and the activity of the disease by around, depending on the medication, but from 30% to 70%. Um, and that is a huge leap compared to before when there was no medication to even slow it down. Then there is also the fact that much of it is in your own hands because it has been shown that physical activity is able to reduce some of this progression. And the best news is that in the future, we have researchers actively researching new medications that could help repair some of the myelin damage, like the damage in our nerve sheaths, so as to allow them to recover fully and for some of these symptoms to be gone or I don't know, to recover and in this way uh, return to the same phys physical capabilities that we had prior to multiple sclerosis. Now, let it be said that in my opinion, this is not scientific, but from my experience, whatever symptoms that you had at the onset of the disease or the diagnosis, uh, you can expect those symptoms to get worse and worse over time. And I say that because I, from the very beginning, had problems walking with my drop foot, with some tremors, with some spasticity in my legs. Now, 12 years in, all of these have gotten worse. Some of them have improved, like my speech, that is great. Uh, but my tremors have also gotten worse. The way that I see it is that these symptoms that are there are inevitably and as much as I try to fight against time and fight against the disease these symptoms are gonna worsen and this is something that I believe is important
for all of you to be prepared to embrace and to accept and to adapt to. But even though there's been progression since I was diagnosed 12 years ago, this doesn't mean that my life has stopped. Quite the contrary. The disease has taught me to enjoy the small wins, celebrate the small victories, and try to appreciate the smaller things in life. And that's not so bad, after all. It's also super important not to lose the positivity and the optimism throughout your coexistence with this disease, because it's very easy to simply give up and decide not to work out. But it's one of the most beneficial things you can do for your body is to try to stay as physically active as possible. And remember that multiple sclerosis affects mainly your muscles. So it's a good idea in order not to lose muscle fun function to try to uh, work these muscles as much as possible and try to keep them healthy and strong. That is why physical activity is one of the most important things you can do. These were the harsh truths about multiple sclerosis progression. It being that progression is inevitable, it's gonna be there, and there is not as of yet a medication that is gonna help it stop. So when you get diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, you can expect there to be some or a lot of worsening. That is why when you get diagnosed, you need to brace yourself and be prepared to have a lot of empathy towards yourself, to be willing to accept whatever life throws at you. There may be changes that you're not willing to accept, but these changes are there and they're most likely there to stay. So you need to work with these changes and find ways for you to still be able to lead a fulfilling life despite these changes. I wanna invite you guys to check out my website because there I have many tips and different options to get in touch with me, to discuss with me if you have just been diagnosed and need some guidance and perhaps some psychological strengthening. And you can do so by booking a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. I hope this video helped you and I hope I wasn't being too defeatist, but a little bit of reality sometimes is necessary, right? Stay strong, keep smiling, and take care. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.